I am Dr. Kuldeep Kumar Grover, consultant pulmonologist and intensive care expert at CK Villa Hospital Gurugram. Third type of breathing is nose breathing. We are having a habit of breathing through our mouth when we are, especially during the anxiety state, when we are very much anxious, when we have taken a large meal and when we are sitting also, habitually also, we are breathing through our mouth. This is a wrong practice. We need not to breathe through our mouth. We should get a habit of breathing through our nose because breathing through our nose will give the inspiratory air more warmth and more clean air will go to the lungs. If we keep doing and make a habit of doing noise type breathing, this will help us to improve our respiratory health as well. So these three types of breathing exercises are primarily for respiratory health and respiratory muscles. Other two kind of breathing exercise like box breathing and sama priviti exercise. These are exercises which are used for the patients who are having breathing difficulty related to post-stress traumatic disorder post anxiety so many anxiety factors can lead to shortness of breath so much post traumatic stress disorders can lead to shortness of breath so box type of breathing is very much helpful in that condition what is the technique of box breathing is we have to inhale and then we have to hold our breath we have to exhale then we have to hold our breath this kind of breathing is known as box type of breathing we have to inhale and then we have to stop for a while. Then we have to exhale, then we have to stop for a while. This kind of exercise is helpful for increasing the vital capacity of our lung. So if we keep on doing this exercise in repeated succession of around 8 to 10 times at one time or one instant, this is definitely going to helpful in our shortness of breath if we feeling at home or any time or other respiratory symptoms as well pertaining to vital capacity and other respiratory functions improvement these exercises are very much helpful apart from these breathing exercises what all things which are very much helpful in maintaining respiratory health are everybody knows these things so i am just enumerating so that it will be very much helpful in due course of time in your daily routine activities. So we need not to smoke every time. Smoking system of Delhi NCR in areas of NCR is a cumulative effect, has a cumulative disastrous effect on our lungs. Because already air quality index is very much bad in the area where we are smoking. And if we are smoking in that area, there is additive destructive effect on our lungs. So we have to avoid active smoking and passive smoking as well. We have to avoid and near the person who are smoking near us also. Other thing is if we have age more than 65 years of age and we are already having respiratory issues like we are suffering from bronchial asthma or any respiratory problems of COPD or IID. So vaccination against influenza and pneumococcal along with COVID vaccination is very much mandatory in all these age groups because adult vaccination program is very much dominant, dominant nowadays because if we keep vaccinated our lungs and body so we will never be in conference of any kind of pneumonia during our lifetime. So this thing pertaining to respiratory breathing exercises and maintenance of respiratory health are very important for, for spending a very good health, respiratory health pertaining to lungs. If you have any query related to respiratory issues, you can contact our website or visit in person to our center. Thank you very much.